Having spent two days exploring the incredible city of Tokyo, our next goal was to make the nearly 1,000 km journey to Sapporo on Japan's northernmost island Hokkaido as cheaply as we could. Having heard about the natural beauty of the northernmost region of Japan, we couldn't wait to explore what Hokkaido has to offer. With trains and planes being relatively expensive, we decided to try the lesser known route, an 18-hour overnight ferry north on the North Pacific Ocean. We bought the cheapest ticket available, meaning we had to sleep in a shared room on rolled out footings. This is basically where we'll be sleeping. We're probably on a pirate ship after all. <laughs> Having struggled a lot with seasickness in the past, I was apprehensive as to how we'd cope on the ocean. Would traveling by ferry actually save us money? Could I handle living on a ferry for 18 hours without getting seasick? I think we have a woman down there, you know, unfortunately. Hello, good afternoon from Tokyo. My husband and I are currently in Tokyo Station. It has been such a, hec such a hectic afternoon. If you can't tell, we're huffing and puffing because we've been trying to get to um, this town called Oira. By taking the train to Mito, and it was very confusing getting the ticket. Yeah. Turns out you have to buy two tickets, like a basic fare ticket and a limited express ticket. So these are the tickets that we had to purchase. First being, I think this is the base fare ticket and this is the express ticket. We purchased initially this one particular ticket and they said, this is not enough unit to purchase. Also another ticket called base fare. And I'm like, where in the world? It's so confusing to buy a train ticket. The ferry was going to depart from Oarai, a port town 120 km north of Tokyo. We had to first get to the town of Mito, which was about 75 minute train ride from Tokyo Station. The journey ended up costing about 27 US dollars each for the two part ticket and would take us within 12 km of the Oarai ferry port. Hello from Limited Express train toilet. I am currently here to show you what this compact and tiny but clean toilet looks like. Obviously, you've got here sitting toilet. Clean. You've got a couple of toilet roll, a basin, very small basin, although this is not a drinkable water, and seat cleaner, wipe basically. A seat for your baby if you're traveling with one and also you can pull this out to change the baby's diaper. train station which is fairly busy we're trying to get a taxi um, to reach the ferry point oh, we are taking the stairs down to get to the taxi stand Having missed our first bus, we were worried that we would miss the final check in time. So when we arrived at Mito Station, we decided to pay $37 for a 25-minute taxi ride. This unfortunately turned our initial desire to make this a budget journey on its head a bit. <sighs> Finally made it to the taxi. <sighs> I've always wanted to try this taxi as soon as we arrived in Tokyo. And it feels like we're in a mafia movie, if that makes sense. It's very cool. We thankfully checked in with time to spare and boarded the ferry to look for our shared room where we would be sleeping for the night. How exciting! It's exciting, look! Tomakomai, that's the destination. 
Can you see the ferry behind me? Over here you've got so many cars lining up. Oh, this is exciting. So we will be staying in one of these futon beds. Hello, welcome to the room for the night. We chose the cheapest bed <laughs> available for Taurus and this is basically where we will be sleeping. One of these beds will be laid out like this on the floor. So this is a futon bed which means a Japanese bed and I think there's a separation here when you feel like you need some privacy. It's comfortable basically. It's a bit cozy if you feel like sharing with 11 other people is okay for you. This is an experience that you can get when traveling in Japan. Apart from being cozy, you also get some privacy. As the ferry left in the evening, we went straight to the restaurant for dinner. We bought a ticket for dinner and breakfast buffets together for $20 each and had to pay with cash at the machines. So I am currently sitting at the restaurant within the ferry and pay 2,900 yen for a set meal for one dinner and a breakfast. The dinner is actually a buffet and I've chosen all the food there is to it. As you can see, I probably have taken too much for myself. Starting with, I think this is pork. Mm. Wait a bit of Japanese rice there. It just tastes nicer, this Japanese rice. You get kiwi, orange, fresh tomato. All of the food is so fresh looking. You get these kind of like bao bun kind of things, which I think you can sort of like fill yourself and make your own dish out of. So I've already put a little bit of meat and some veg in. I'm gonna put a bit more meat in. No idea if I'm doing this right. Mm. That meat, it's actually really tender. After dinner, it was already getting late, so we settled down and stored our luggage in the convenient lockers on the ferry. We wanted to get an early night's sleep so we could see the sunrise in the morning. We finished our dinner and we were thinking of going to the observation deck, but we weren't allowed to be outside, therefore we don't know what else to do. We will be filming again tomorrow and I am going. about how about 6 30 and i decided to get up because i wanted i really wanted to see sunrise on the ship and it was actually a very beautiful sunrise it's just been really peaceful you know walking around the ship there's a few people up and about not too many people it's quite quiet i think i've, I've been on like a few ferry rides that are a couple of hours long but i've never slept on a ferry before so it was definitely a weird feeling like lying on the futon just feeling the rocking of the ship I'm just really happy that we got the ferry rather than like flying or something because it just feels like a much slower, more local way of doing it. There's a couple of foreigners on the ship, but everyone else is locals. Oh, 
Ohayou gozaimasu, which means good morning in Japanese. We've got two breakfast tickets and lining up to get to the restaurant. It's half seven and the breakfast only lasts until 9 a.m. So we just, we learned from last night to get in there quickly and film the experience. But it's such a stunning morning to wake up to because the sea next to us is so stunning. Breakfast starts with a lot of selections. Fish, if you're into that, I'll get a bit of sausage burger. we we'll get a cold tofu, asparagus with some pork. I'll try that one. Oh no, that's a dumpling. It's so tidy. So this is a bit more Japanese style of breakfast. There's some seaweed. It's moving quite fast and a bit bumpy now and I'm starting to feel a bit seasick. I'm feeling really sick because oh, I don't have the best of luck when it comes to seasickness. I don't even want to eat this food because I just want to lie down. I think we have a woman down over there, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to be able to uh, film much because the boat's moving quite a lot and she's feeling really sick. Unfortunately, my seasickness got so bad that I couldn't eat anything or even stand up for long periods of time. Having taken motion sickness pills and not feeling any better, I had to lie down and try to sleep through some of it. in one of the dressing desk um, cubicles in the women's toilet. How thoughtful is that they have this on a ferry? Yeah, I've taken three tablets, motion sickness tablets, since last night. I'm trying to feel better, really. Um, yeah, just getting ready. So I am feeling slightly better and going to tour around the ferry. But first, we're going to the observation deck. It's cold. Wow. Ah, this is lovely. You can see the surrounding nature. You can see some of the mountains over there. That's interesting. I don't know if you've watched One Piece cartoon. That's like a pirate symbol. We're probably on a pirate ship after all. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell from the camera that as you go up, it gets more windy. It's a lot windier than down there. I think what I've just realized is that that could be the Hokkaido Island coming in. Uh, because over there, I don't know if you can see, is the Honshu part of uh, Japan, Northern Honshu it's called. We've got a couple of hours left until we've arrived at, oh, sorry I've eaten my own hair, arrive at uh, Tomokomai, I think that's the port town. The Sunflower Furano Ferry was very clean and consisted of three main floors. It was constructed in 2017 and is dedicated to the Tokyo Hokkaido route. Although there isn't much to do on the ferry, there are two floors of seating, some private cabins, a shop, a games room, vending machines, hot water for noodles or tea, kids area and an outside observation deck. Of course, what Japanese ferry tour? would be complete without a tour of the toilet. So here we have the typical Japanese toilet you'd expect. You've got options to uh, clean the rear, clean the uh, front. You even have music for privacy and you can control the volume of the music, which I think is pretty hilarious to be honest. 
It's a little bit weird filming yourself in the toilet. is repositioning so that we can get off we can get off from the this lovely ferry that we've been on our home for the last 18 hours yeah it's actually gone like very Quite quickly <laughs> yeah. even though you were sick for half no it's been over a really great experience i've really enjoyed it yeah <laughs> me too Passengers are already queuing up to leave and disembark. We're just getting our backpack. The staff are standing to say goodbye to us. Thank you. Yes, yes, there'll be. Yeah. This is the ferry port and there is an information that we can get a bus from the ferry terminal all the way to Sapporo station and it costs 1450 yen. The problem with this is that we don't have enough cash. We found the bus, I mean the only bus probably. Um, wondering if they accept card rather than cash payment. Pizza must do. Ah, okay. ATM? Do you know ATM? It's okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Hi. Ah, yes. Hi. Hi. Oh, well. We actually ran out of cash because we blew the budget out of the water for the meal set and turns out the bus all the way to Sapporo cost 14.50 yen per person and we only have got a thousand yen left um, and there was no ATM at the ferry terminal. Uh, the driver was kindly enough suggesting that we should go all the way to Tomokomai station to get an ATM and then we can also get a train to Sapporo which comes in handy because the fare only costs 250 per person Not and <laughs> we were able to afford it so this is the bus and lots of passengers are disembarking Arigato. traveling mishaps we have got to Tomokomai station. How exciting! We are in the search for ATM. Will there be any ATM? If we don't get an ATM, they can accept card payment, can they not? Yeah. Thankfully, the train ticket counter accepted card payment, so we boarded the next train to Sapporo to find our hotel for the night. 
it was on the smoothest journey with missed transports, extra costs, sickness and running out of cash, but we were relieved to finally be in Sapporo after 24 hours of travel. Ladies and gentlemen, we will arrive at Sapporo Terminal in a few minutes. that was a long journey all the way from Tokyo to Oarai and then Tomoko Miami no Tomoko <laughs> what was that called? Tomoko Mai uh, Tomoko Mai and then to Sapporo we're in Sapporo yay, yay. finally yeah. and it was um, it's really nice being here because the weather is already like much cooler. fresh it's like crisp nice clean air yeah. actually it's a lot more like hey, buddy, since yeah. getting off the boat I sort of felt like I'm still moving. Yeah, it's like it was still like rocking. Like I almost feel more sick off the boat than I did when I was on the boat. Oh, not that for me. Not. But yeah, yeah. yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, it was really good fun. That was our very first experience having an overnight ferry. Please let us know what you think down in the comment section below. We worked so hard to get this video right, hopefully. Um, and uh, yeah, the next video will be from Sapporo. Yay. See you again next time. Yeah.